Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunday School. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be able to learn at your feet. We ask that you please bless the reading of today and let us have a teachable heart to learn from you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. All right, let's begin. Today's topic is Joseph helps Pharaoh. Genesis 41, 14 to 57. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it. And Joseph answered Pharaoh saying, it is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, in my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of river and behold, there came up out of the river seven kind, fat fleshed and well favored. And they fed in a meadow and behold, seven other kind came up after them, poor and very ill favored and lean fleshed, such as I never saw in all the land of Egypt for badness and the lean and the ill favored kind did eat up the, the first seven fat kind. And when they had eaten them up, it could not be known that they had eaten them, but they were still ill favored as at the beginning. So I awoke and I saw in my dream and behold, seven ears came up in one stock, full and good. And behold, seven ears withered, thin, and blast with the east wind sprung up after them. And the, the thin ears devoured the seven good ears. And I told them, told this unto the magician, but there was none that could clear it to me, declare it to me. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, the dream of Pharaoh is one. God had showed Pharaoh what is about to do. The seven good kind are seven years and the seven good ears are seven years. The dream is one and the seven thin and ill-favored kind ha that came up after them are seven years and the seven empty ears blast with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. This is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do he showeth unto Pharaoh. Behold, there, came, there come seven years of great plenty through all the land of Egypt, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and famine shall 
consume the land and the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine following. For it shall be very grievous. And for that, the dream was doubled up to Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing is established by God and God will shortly bring it to pass. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in seven plenteous years. And let them gather all the food of those good years and come that come and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. And the food and that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through the famine. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servant, can we find such a one as this is? A man in whom the spirit of God is. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, for as much as God has shown thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house and according, uh, according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and array, arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him a ride in the second chariot, which he had. And they cried before him, bow and knee. And he made him rule over all land, all land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name, Zaphnapaniah. And he gave him to wife, Asenath, the daughter of Poti. Pharaoh's priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. And in the seven plenteous years that the earth brought forth by handful and he gathered up all the food of the seven years which were in the land of Egypt and laid up the food in the cities, the land, the food of all field which was around which was round about every city 
laid up in the same and gathered corn as the sand of the sea very much until the left uh, numbering and the, until he left numbering for it was without numbered. And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, which Asenath, the daughter of Potipharah's priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the first, uh, firstborn Manasseh, Manasseh. For God said, he had made me forgotten, forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim. For God had caused me to be fruitful in the land of, of my affliction. And the seven years of plenteous that was in the land of Egypt were ended. And the seven years of dearth began to come, according as Joseph had said, and the dearth was in all land. But in all the land of Egypt were, was bread. And when all the land of Egypt was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And Pharaoh said unto all the Egyptian, go unto Joseph that he said to you, do. do. Go unto Joseph what he said to you, do. And the famine and the famine was over all the face of the earth. And Joseph opened all storehouse and sold unto the Egyptian. And the famine waxed sore in the land of Egypt. And all the countries came into Egypt to Joseph for to buy corn because that the famine was so sore in all the land. Whew. The end. That was a long story. All right. But it was very, 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 very juicy. <laughs> More to come. All right. It is question time. Let's go ahead to the recording. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right. Hold on tight. Like the 
Do you want to respond to that? Okay, go ahead. I think Pharaoh chose Joseph because he already had a plan to overcome the family. Do you remember Joseph's dreams? Where God showed him that the sun and the moon and the eleven stars bowed down to him? Exactly. So, Pharaoh making Joseph a ruler in Egypt was simply fulfilling God's plans of making Joseph great. Right, we are back. It's time for game and activities. I'm excited about this. All right, let's begin. All right, let's see. It says, Joseph was faithful to God all his life. Sometimes his life was very, was up, which is very good. And sometimes it was down, very bad. Print the missing vowels a e a i'm sorry a e i o u in the word beginning with p you got it in the sentence the meaning for each word is given all right let's begin a e i o u all right let's see Question one, he goes, Joseph was his father's favorite. What's another word for favorite? Favorite, favorite. Another word for favorite. Come on, help me out. Mm, this one's a hard one. Mm. Oh, I know. You know, sometimes how they say, um, oh, uh, 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 someone is a, is my pet. Yeah. All right. Let's put it. Let's put it. Good job. All right. There's my E. Yes. Favorite. Another word favorite is pet. All right. Whew. I kind of sweat for that. Whew. Thank you. Thank you for your help. All right. Next one. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him and they put him in a that thing that is a hole in the ground. I know you got, you remember this one very, yell it louder for everybody else. Very good, in a pit. All right, where are you, I? All right, and let's go to the next one. Some traders came along and when you buy something, when you bought something, okay? And bought Joseph, they sold him to a rich man in far away Egypt. So when you buy something is to, go ahead, say it. Oh, very good, all right, purchase. Let's find the U. What else comes after that is the what? All right, A, and let's get the E, purchased. You did it. Next one, Joseph, mm, let's say, did well. If you already know that. Okay, at the rich man's house, let's see, soon he was in charge of it. So when you do well, you, what is the word? Prosper, very, very good. Let's go, the O, what's next? E, and what's next? E, yeah, it's very good. I got some really smart kids, you know, over here. I really do. All right, let's see the next one. The rich man's wife lied about Joseph. Yes, she did. And the rich man had Joseph put in blank. 
and put the opposite of, uh, what's another word for jail? Very good, that's the easiest one. We're on a roll over here. Prison, all right. And let's get our, oh, where are you? There you go. Let's go for the next one. Okay, after a long time, Joseph came to the king's house. Okay, what is that? I can hear you. Yes, came to the palace. Yes, let's bring them down in E and told Pharaoh the meaning of a dream Pharaoh had. All right, seven. Joseph gave Pharaoh Pharaoh's wise advice, gave okay? Pharaoh wise advice, and Pharaoh made him a mighty. When someone is mighty, mighty, mighty. What's that? Ruler over Egypt. Can you guess which one that one? Next to Pharaoh. So he made him what? Very good, powerful. Let's go ahead and bring it down. All right, we did it. Awesome, I think. I believe we're done with this. Let's see what's next. Yes, we are. All right. Yeah, this is stuff, okay. Nothing difficult today. It looks good. All right. It says draw a line across from one and two. Let's draw the line. Three, four. Okay. Fast forward. That's okay. Seven, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, all right. He said, write the write the P word words from the above, which is what we just did in the other slide. Um, if you can you remember them, can you remember them? We should be remember them. Let's, you know, we might leave some out, but I don't think so. I think we should remember them. That should be fun. Okay. Then draw, let me see above on the lines you draw. Then draw lines down from two. Okay, let's do the first one first. Let's put the P, the second thing that it tells us. Okay, first one is pet. What was next after pet? Do you remember pit? That's right. Okay, what was next after pit? Yell it out. Mm. Mm. Was it purchase? Mm, let's see. Purchase, yes. <laughs> we got it, okay. All right, what was next after purchased? Uh, say louder, yes. I believe, yes, I think we got a prison, right? All right, all right. Prosper, oh. <laughs> I thought it was prison too. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. All right. Prospered. All right. What's the next one? It should be prison, right? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> now I'm hesitant. Okay. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Yay! <laughs> prison. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see if we can get this one. What was the next one? It was... Mm, Mm. What was it? Do you remember? Yell it out. I can't hear you. I still can't hear you. Uh, okay, let me try to see if I can, if I go along. Uh, what did it was? Oh, very good. Palace, yay. And the last one, it is opposite of mighty. Yes, it is. Powerful, yay, we did it. You guys are so smart. All right, okay, put the line down. Okay, 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 we were not done, okay. Uh, put the line down from four or five, seven to six, eight to nine, and 11 to 10 and 13 to 12. Okay, we can see on this thing, the ups and downs. It went from pet to pit to purchase, then went up to pro, uh, prosper, then down prison, and then up palace, and then powerful. Wow, that was a journey, wasn't it? All right, so will you try to be faithful to God all your life too? Joseph was very faithful. So 
you also must pray, be faithful. One thing I like about this story is that God was with Joseph every single step of the line. Why? Because he reverenced God. He was faithful to God. He was obedient in all his ways. If you continue to be obedient in all your ways, God will guide you through and put you in the right path. May that be your portion in Jesus' name. All right, let's move forward. Yeah, I like the way it dance. Let's do it again. Bam, bam. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. It's memory verse time. Yay! What do we have? And my God will meet all your needs according to your unto according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And my God will meet all your needs according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And that's taken from Ephesians 4, 19. Let's give it a shot. And God will bring all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Ooh, I did. Let's do it again. And my God, ooh, and it's time to wrap up. Okay, okay. I can't do it again. Let's try to see if we remember everything. All right, let's try. And my God, <laughs> I said it. Uh, brother. Okay. 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 You do the rest. You do the rest. Okay. And my God, okay, will meet. Say it louder. Absolutely. Yes. All your. I can't hear you. Very good. Needs according to his riches. Uh huh. You don't remember? Oh my goodness. Try, 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 try. Let's read it from the beginning so you, maybe you can remember. And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious. When someone is wealthy, riches, yes, in. Very good, in Christ Jesus. And this is taken from where? Yell it louder. Philippians 4, 9, 10. You guys are awesome. You did it. All right. Fly away. Phew. We did it this week. The story was long, but it was interesting. Whew. It was a mouthful for me. Did you see me? Hmm? <laughs> All right. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the reading of the day. We thank you for our Sunday school. We thank you, Father Lord, because you have taught us to be faithful to you at all times so that you can reveal the deep things unto us. Oh, everlasting Father, as Joseph was a vessel unto, unto honor, may we also be a vessel unto honor in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, as we go for this week, go ahead of us and let us be a blessing unto others, just like Joseph was. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, kids, that's it for now. Until next time, goodbye. I love you. Bye.